Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we're going to add this coin pickup to the game. So yeah, let's get started. First, you want to go to the link in the description that takes you to my Google Drive, and you want to download this stylist coin folder. And after that, you want to go to your project, and you want to go to the models, and you want to import the folder to there. So, stylist coin, let's import it to here. Let's check that our import uniform scale is 1, because it might be 50 from the last episode. Not from the last, but from one of the last episodes. So, let's make it 1, and let's press import all. Okay, let's close this window, and now we have all this thing, these things here. So let's go back to the stylist coin folder and to the textures. And yeah, we have the texture. Sorry, we don't have to go there. Let's go to the source and let's open the material. Let's delete this parameter from here and let's right click and search for texture sample. Okay, let's get from, from the RGB and connect to the base color. And from here, from the texture, let's select the coin to base color. Yeah, let's apply. Let's save. And let's close this. So now we have our coin here. Okay, so what we want to do next, we want to go back to the blueprints. And we want to create a new folder to here. And let's call it interactables. Interactables, like that. Now let's open it. Let's right click and create a new blueprint class. Type actor. Let's call this coin. Okay, now let's open it. And you should be on at the viewport. Here on the top left corner, you want to click the add and you want to add a static mesh. Let's call this coin. And here from the static mesh, you want to select the coin mesh that we just imported, like that. And what I actually want to do with this, because I think this is too big, so let's first compile and save. Let's move this window right next to the third person maps. And I will actually want to test. So let's actually delete this from the map. And let's move the coin there. And let's play and see. Yeah, I think the coin is too big. So what? we want to do here now is I will actually align this to the middle first like that. So what we want to do here now on the coin, we want to change the scale. So let's check that our lock is unlocked like that. Let's make the X scale 0.75 and Y scale 0.5 because I like it to be not that fat. Like if it's one, it's like this. So I will make it 0.5 and also the height 0.75 like that. Now what I want to do I want to set the location set value to 20 so it gets a little bit higher and after that what we want to do we want to scroll down a little bit and to the here on the collision presets let's open it let's change this to overlap all okay like that. Now we want to click the default C root and click the add. We want to add a, a sphere collision. Let's call this overlap collision, like that. And let's actually move the overlap collision to the set value of 80, like that. And let's make the scale a little bit bigger so let's make this lock locked and let's change the scale to two like that okay now one more thing we want to do here so let's click the add and let's search for a rotating movement now let's open it and let's check that our set rotating rate is 180 that's good for starting we can adjust it later if you want. So, yeah. Now let's click the overlap collision and let's scroll down. 
And here on the on component begin overlap, let's click that. Now that creates a new node here to the event graph. Here, what we want to do, we want to first get from the other actor and we want to cast to third person character like that. And uh, yep, yeah. now we actually have to create the code for the coin. So let's actually compile and save all. Let's go to the third person map and to the blueprints. First, we want to open the GM Endless Runner, so the game mode. Here, let's go to the event graph. And actually, let's go back to the third person map. Let's not close the game mode. We want to first go to the HUD and open the player HUD. So here on the player HUD, let's first click the money, which I actually want to rename as coins text like that and we want to check that it is also a variable now I want to set the text to zero and now let's go to the graph here we have this on the event graph we have the update points just under it let's right click and create a new custom event let's call it update coins like that and yep update coins yeah now uh, let's add a input let's call it coins and here on the variable type let's change it to integer like that okay and now we want to get the coins text and here we want to set text so content set text like this let's connect it to here and now let's get from the coins and we want to to text picture like this let's move it to here and actually let's move this uh, away from there so let's connect this to here let's open this and let's check so only thing we want to change here is we don't want to use grouping it's basically adds a space when we get a number greater than 999. So when we go from 999 to 1000, it will add a space between one and uh, three zeros. So yeah, we don't want that. At least I don't want that. Okay, let's close that. Let's move this to here. Okay, let's compile and actually save all. Now we can close the player HUD. So now we are on the GM Endless Runner. What we want to do here is we also want to create a new custom event. Okay, let's call this increase coins. Here we also want to add a input. Variable type is integer. And the name should be amount. Okay. And what we want to do next is we want to create a new variable. Let's call it coins. And let's change the type to integer. Now let's get the coins under the amount. Sorry, I'm not set. We want to get it. So get. Now from the amount we want to add to the coins. And after that we want to promote it to coins like this. So we are basically adding the add amount to the already existing coins variable amount. And after that, what we want to do is uh, we actually want to get the player hard ref. And from here, we want to call the update coins. And we want to connect the, these coins to there like that. Okay, let's compile and save. So the next thing we want to do is we actually want to go to the coin and no, sorry, we actually have to go quickly to the third person character blueprint. So let's go to the third person map and to the blueprints and to the BB third person character. Let's open it. And here on the event graph, let's go up to the event begin play. And after the set view target with blend, we want to 
get game mode. And from the region value, we want to cast to endless runner. And from here, we want to promote this to a variable. And I want to rename it as game mode ref. And I will move it under the camera ref, like that. And we want to do this because uh, otherwise we will have to, from the coin, first we will have, we will have to go, uh, cast the character. And after that, we would have to cast the GM endless runner game mode. So that would be pretty expensive. So what, what uh, I would, uh, I want to do is I want to cast on the character on the begin play. And we can just here on the coin, when we are already casting to the character, we can get the reference from there. So yeah, now from on the coin, uh, on the as pp third person character, we want to get game mode ref like this. Now we can just here we can increase coins. Okay, so it's much more efficient. Okay, and here from the amount, we want to actually promote it to a variable and we can just call it amount like that. Actually, I want to move this. Oh, it can be like that. So this amount will be the amount that we will, will add to the already existing coins. So let's make it one. Okay, let's compound. And after that, we actually want to destroy actor like that. So let's compile. Save all, let's go to the third person map and let's play. Let's see what happens. So the coin is spinning and when we interact or overlap with it, we will get the one coin. Let's try again. Yeah, as you can see, everything is working like it's supposed to work. So yeah, I think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you on the next one. Bye.